Hello, I'm Jerry Kirkpatrick, and I'm teaching the fundamentals of metal shaping. So this morning, I have a small job of fixing a small piece of 19 gauge sheet metal to a piece of 3 16 round bar stock. And when I get finished, it'll look like this. Since the job doesn't require much strength, what I'm going to use is my oxyacetylene welding torch and about an 18 inch length of just regular household Romex copper wire. So I'll just cut off about an 18 inch length, strip one of the insulated wires out, and that's what I'll be using as filler material. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Jerry, you're nuts. Well, I can't do anything about that. But if you stick around, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, here we go. Once you get the wire stripped back uh, to expose the copper wire from the Romex, uh, you just braise just like you would with a regular brass and flux. The nice thing about using the copper is you can put just one little drop in and actually work it around the piece. One more little drop ought to do it. You see how that works right on down to the end. And if you want to make a nice fillet, then you can add more rod and to smooth that out you just run the torch over it and it makes a perfect little fillet in that area And there you have it. Let me clean it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So here's the piece uh, after it's been all soldered. And you can see what a great job it does of just a fillet. Uh, this was not cleaned up at all. All I did was put it in some water and all of the black just popped off of it so that's what you wind up with uh, if you add uh, an abundance of copper rod and then just run the torch over at one time and you get a nice fillet just like that and if you were wondering uh, how strong the joint is, uh, hold on just a short while and I'll show you a few test pieces. I'll braise them up with the copper and then do a destruction test. So what I'm going to do first is just put a fairly good sized drop right in the middle and you can see that I can work it all the way from one side to the other just like you would with silver solder. Go back and pick some up. There it's all the way at the end. And there it's all the way to the end. And there you can see it's a very fine joint where it's the copper has just wicked 
underneath the uh, two pieces. Let me hit it with the wire brush and you can see how neat it is. Okay, that may be hard to see, but if I rock it back and forth and the, with the light refracting on it in different ways, you can see what a nice small joint that is. Okay, let me set up the next one. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use a considerable amount of copper. The joint will be somewhat stronger and I'll show you how strong it is afterwards. So after you make all these little dabs in here and fill that area up. You can take your torch and just run over it again. And it makes a perfect little radius in there. Just flow the material out. There you go. So there you go. Let me go dunk it in some water and I'll show you what it looks like after the black pops off. So that's what it looks like. Uh, if you just throw it in a, a small bucket of water while it's still hot, and that's what it looks like after you run your torch over it a second time and smooth it out. I think that's a fairly nice fillet for almost no money whatsoever. Now let's tear them apart and you can see how strong these are. Okay, so here's the first one I did with a very small amount of copper. You can see that broke fairly quick. And you can see there how much got underneath it. So I went just a little bit past the 90 degree with this piece as opposed to this and it let go. So you can get a nice, uh, nice small fillet in there but it's not going to hold much. But with this one, we added quite a bit and then smoothed it out. And we can bend this one over and then even pull on it some. So with that, that didn't even tear. So you can see how much it ran underneath on both of the corners. But that's still a fairly good joint. So by using a little more copper and flowing it out, you can get, I wouldn't call it a structural joint by any means, but uh, it's not bad for a free, for free material. Here's a little tip for you. 
if you're wanting to strip back your Romex, just use the back end of your wire cutters and pinch the wire. And it comes off quite easily. Just cut the excess off and you're ready to start brazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and it put another tool in your toolbox. So the next time you have some brazing to do, instead of getting your brass and flux out, just go get an old piece of Romex copper wire and give that a try. And if you would like to get a Henrob torch or a gas saver, both of those items are available on my website. And don't forget that I also have the plans for the plate type bead roller to make them more useful. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.